We've got our first look at the LEGO Captain America Shield and the 2023 LEGO Marvel Advent Calendar thanks to an overseas LEGO catalog, so let's jump right in. The Cap Shield will be around 200 bucks, and it looks pretty good in terms of size and color, but I can't help feel a little disappointed in the end. Compared to the Brick or Builds model, the official LEGO one is kind of a letdown to me. It feels like the fans were able to make a better set than LEGO actually made with all of their resources, but we have to bear in mind that the Brick or Builds one is like 700 bucks, and the LEGO one will be around 200 bucks. I'm curious though, if LEGO had made this more expensive but made it more like the Brick or Builds version, would you have liked that better, or would you be more bummed out to pay more money for it? I'm really curious, so drop a comment and let me know. Also, we have a blurry look at the LEGO Marvel Advent Calendar, which should come out in November. This is based off the Infinity Saga, and it feels like a pretty safe way to give us some MCU builds without it being based off of one specific thing, which is pretty hard to make out what's here, but it's Infinity Saga for sure. We've got a Cap and Iron Man minifig that appear to be the same ones from other sets, as well as the bunny that might be from the first Ant-Man movie, a mini train based off of Captain America the First Avenger, as well as an Okoye minifig, and a Spider-Man in a Christmas sweater. Like I said, it's hard to make out what all's here given the image quality, but it does look pretty exciting and promising. Let me know your thoughts on these in the comments, and I'll catch you guys later. Well, you made it to the end of the video. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and maybe check out one of my other videos listed here.